Hey guys, welcome back to Scadia 120. Now this is a video series where we cover a vast topic in just two minutes or 120 seconds, hence the name. And today we'll be giving you some important points about nitroglycerin pharmacology. Now if you want to watch a full lecture on this topic, do write us down below and we'll get right on to it. So we have two minutes, let's start the timer. So a 40-year-old man with a family history of premature heart disease presented with an acute chest pain. Now he was given a sublingual tablet and his pain was gone within five minutes. Such a quick relief. Now this magic pill I would say was nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin is also known as trinitroglycerin, nitro or glycerol trinitrate. Nitroglycerin is used for the treatment of angina, acute myocardial infarction, severe hypertension, and acute coronary artery spasms. Do keep this in mind. And remember that it is quite effective, inexpensive, and fast-acting. Now, how does it work? Well, nitroglycerin in the body is converted to nitric oxide by an enzyme called mitochondrial aldehyde dehydrogenase. This nitric oxide is an active substance which then activates an enzymatic synthesis of cyclic GMP. Now, this process will eventually lead to the dephosphorylation of myosin light chain of uh, smooth muscles that cause relaxation and increased blood flow in the veins, arteries, and cardiac tissue. Now, all this process will lead to the decreased work of the heart, decreased blood pressure, relief of anginal symptoms, and increased blood flow to the myocardium. Now, you must be wondering, how is it used? Now, nit nitroglycerin can be administered via many routes, mainly intravenously, sublingually, rectally, as a sublingual spray, or as a patch that is applied to the skin. They produce a similar response, but each one differs in the time of onset and duration. Sublingual nitroglycerin acts rapidly within 1-5 to five minutes and lasts about 60 minutes. It avoids hepatic first pass metabolism. Now for other routes, the effect is slower in onset, but it lasts several hours. One important point to remember here is that discontinuation of nitroglycerin should take place over time since rapid discontinuation can cause vasospasms and angina. Oh, I didn't realize two minutes have passed. But that's all right, we still have to discuss the ADRs of nitroglycerin. Well, how about I give you an easy mnemonic to remember that. The mnemonic is the hungry dog loves having food. T stands for tachycardia, which is abnormally fast heartbeat, headache, dizziness, lightheadedness, especially if an individual is in an upright position or has just gotten up from sitting or lying down. Then the patient may also exhibit hypotension as uh, nitroglycerin may cause severe low blood pressure. And lastly, we have facial flushing due to increased blood flow. Now, that was all about nitroglycerin pharmacology that we're going to learn today. Again, if you want us to cover this topic in a full lecture and in detail, do write us down below. And stay tuned to scadi.com for more videos.